Hello and welcome to the DFS underscore PhD show for today, the 22nd of November. Remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough, and gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. Might as well be us. And <clears throat> second night in a row, it was us. And second night in a row, 20 dupes. What? That's a lot of dupes for classic. We got to think about what's going on here and actually cater our strategy to what's going on because it's going to happen again today, especially on FanDuel, maybe on DraftKings if everybody sits or something and there's really obvious values everybody but one guy sits like right if we only get one spend up possible then two of your slots are taken right it's a much smaller set of possibilities and you've got to get into more of a, of a showdown type frame of mind um so let's just hop right into it today um because i kind of predicted the sixers news in the middle of the night please join the discord like like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to uh find out when all of our stuff goes live but you know you can also just join the discord and see my earliest leans of the day then i was just up in the middle of the night i was like all right fine i, I put myself back to sleep by reading nba news which is what i did for like 30 minutes it was great but the first thing i see is the sixers are eliminated what's going on here why is everybody assuming that this is going to be a competitive game i know that matters to one guy on the team who is already missed shoot around today right so one way or another this team i don't know what's going on with them i think they're going to i think they're throwing it away i think they're tearing it apart i think you're going to see some ridiculous trade with the sixers pretty soon that where they don't get where they trade one of these guys for nothing because they got the locker room is not working out right now for for the sixers um like, there's just no way it's good for Joel to miss shoot around um, the, in, in the way that he did right after Maxi called him out. That's that's essentially saying, I don't value you, Maxi, as a teammate. And that dynamic can't persist and is going to force management to choose a side. So I don't know if it's going to happen today. I don't expect that we're going to see um, Embiid play today. If he, do, if he does play... You play MB today. Don't be don't get cute. Like people are gonna if you ever get a low owned MB, congratulations to you. All right. So let's see what other stuff that I have today. I was leading into some stuff. Ah, earlier Hauser was chalk. We'll see if that's still true, but I, I'm not Hauser chalk. I've noticed um we might do a Lynchkin blowout rule eventually for Tari Eason. Tari Eason law. I mean, Houston loves letting Tari Eason be the, the smash guy in blowouts. All right, let me just go through the slate. We got a late downgrade to MB because he missed shoot around and Sounds like unexcused absence might just be punished anyway. But regardless, Yabusele is going to play like 28 minutes easy in this game. He's a pretty decent point per minute guy. He's a great matchup for everybody on Brooklyn's wing. He can play the 3-4 or the 5 in this matchup. So I, I don't know. I, I give him 28 minutes, but I can see 30 plus for this guy in this game where, again, Philadelphia remains favored, right? I mean, like, what, what's going on in this game? How is this working? Um... The current, what's the, uh, what am I looking for? Odds, um, NBA odds movement. Odds tracker, that's the one. Because, <clears throat> I, I mean, it's wild to me they were ever favored in this game. They have nothing. All right, so it's already closed from six and a half to four and a half. I don't get it. I don't get how the 76ers are favored in this game with Maxi limited and be probably out. I mean, even if he's in and beat and Maxi fighting, I, I don't get it. I, I have him out and I... Yeah, on the on the uh, FanDuel side, where all I did was change the um, change the totals, you'll you'd be able to see that I, I boosted this game uh, Brooklyn to one fifteen because I think Brooklyn is going to beat them. I mean, I don't think it's close. Um, but yeah, so I'm setting up for. We already got news that one of the Portland guys we got a late downgrade. That's let me double check. Every ten minutes we get something, and it's because every thirty minutes you do get another official injury report, and I think it's the. Um, it's this one from an hour ago at 11.30. I mean, it's three. It's relative to your game time. So you have to wait until the latest game time, three hours before it, I think, is what, when the official last one is. Anyway, we'll, we'll still be getting news for an hour or two. That's fine. And uh, Jeremy Grant, now questionable with an illness, is pretty huge. Because if Scoot's out and Jeremy Grant's out, a lot of people on Portland start to look pretty nice here. I mean, number one, I'm a Klingon guy. I just think Klingon's not going to – he's going to – he's their guy. He's going to get 28 minutes unless he's in foul trouble, assuming Aiton's out. You saw what he did the other day. They like that story, and they like him. And so it's him and Robert Williams. I think I have a fork. Um, yeah, so I got Horford, Cork, Kada, and Cornette fork. I got Aiton, Klingon, and Robert fork. Houston stars, Brooklyn stars, and Bulls stars. Those are my current things. I have not – forced any Sacramento choices because I don't think they're that great of plays anyway. 
so I don't want to boost them. The boost is part of the fork. All right, so Shade and Sharp and Yabu Sele, definitely agree. Like, in my mind right now, particularly given what I think is going to happen. Obviously, no, number one. Uh, if, if you're new to the show, the late news is better than me. Like, I'm talk good. Thank you for coming. I like to talk to you, and it's good that you're here. I, I say before, I say kind of frequently, more of you watch this show than would ever listen to me in real life. Everybody I ever talk to about this in real life at this length is eyes glazing, glazing over. Maybe I get like 30 seconds of interest from a, my, my very, very kind wife. Why would I ever talk to anybody about this in real life? Thank you. You're the only people I get to talk to about this at all. That's like, it is a little bit of therapy besides just, I like the game theory of it. I mean, we'll see. It's more FanDuel. It's more of the game theory side tonight, but late news is what it's all about. So pick some guys in the late games, right? Like, and, and, and boost them and then see what happens. And then, yeah. So make sure that, for instance, right now, what's the latest? I want from the late round of games, I want to make sure on DraftKings that I have enough. I don't have enough people from these games. Uh, I don't have enough James Harden. Jokic, if he's if he plays, is a great, great... What, what are we doing have under the field Jokic amounts? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. If Jokic is in, he's... I got to have him. Well, what are we doing? We've got plenty of value in the slate. Ridiculous to have under the field Jokic. Also, I want to have freedom, because late... Right? Then we have... Um, I guess the swappability late is questionable for Jokic. We don't really have an exact comp, so we'd have to have two V2s or else really leave a lot of money on the table, like $2,000, 2400 So I get it. I mean, I, I kind of, it's the swappability element that you're losing with Jokic. Does that mean that, um, I guess Doncic is ruled out officially? I haven't checked that, but. Yeah, Luca's out. That's too bad. Well, <clears throat> I'm not sure about, yeah, that game. Huh, it makes it a little tough to get to a lot of this late game. So, hmm. But I guess also that's not really where the late news is, right? Like, none of those guys are the important parts. The important parts are well, Jokic. I mean, but that doesn't really do much for the rest of the team. It just makes them all bad, right? Like, if Jokic is in, just play Jokic and get other guys from other teams. No more guys from that team, right? So, I guess Chicago is still, is there some one guy? Everybody's probable now. So, and um, Tory Craig, give him a few more minutes if you want to. Uh, 4,500 on DraftKings, not really. But on FanDuel, I have him in the pool. Um, he's, yeah, that game is incredible. Um, this Atlanta-Chicago game, just we we occasionally talk about pace on the show. These are the first and second pace teams, and it's not not that close. It's like a whole step, but like a, one full possession between them and the next guys. It's going to be a fun game. Make sure that, I mean, what, what's my, make sure that I always should follow up with, do I have exposure to this game? Yes. I, I, I never can choose between Levine, Vooch, Giddy, all these guys, Kobe. So I have the rule and then I just lock them in 15% for the shooters, 30% for the guys like Vooch and Levine, who I think are bigger stars than shooter, who are going to get assists, who are going to get rebounds, who are going to be creators. Same thing kind of with, I have Kobe. Yeah. Kobe's 30. I was about to say he shouldn't be 15. He's not just a shooter either, but but Giddy, I think, yeah, I guess he's doing more for that team. Whatever. Um, IO, this is kind of a lot of IO along with the rest of it, but that's okay. There's a ton of points in this game. So happy with having a ton of that game. Highest leverage plays. We have a Sale Sharp. Rockets guys. Uh, because yeah. Uh oh, Cam Johnson. Right. So don't know what's going on here on the other side of the Brooklyn Philly game. Just wrong, wrong, wrong. Like these projections are stupid and bad. And go Google it yourself. Like. You can figure it out. Why? Okay. Do you think Cam Johnson should should play 31.4 minutes in a competitive game? I mean, like, if you looked up his game log, it probably would show a lot of 31.4s right in a row or like a 30 and a 32. No, he's gone 38, 38, 39 or something. This is stupid. It's bad. In the last NBA Cup game, he did 38 without Cam Thomas. I don't care. If he's back, yeah, it takes a little bit away from the usage of Cam Johnson, but he's still going to play 38 minutes. Like, these guys are serious about the NBA Cup. They're one-on-one. -on -one. If they win today, they still have their own destiny in, like, in control. That's crazy. And they're playing a, a hobbled Philadelphia team that's mentally hobbled, if not physically hobbled. So I'm all over these guys today. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand 0.11% Cam Thomas. He's 6,600. I get it. That's expensive. You go for 45, you go 50 today. Like the guy's going to play a ton of minutes. Could get a double double with three or four steals or some ridiculous thing. I mean, it's not out of anyway. 
more likely to come from Claxton. I have Claxton as well, but but my whole point is all these guys, I'm like 10x the field, but all these guys, what are you doing? Like, I don't, I have no idea what's going on here. Even Ben, I mean, even Ben Simmons, even Ben Simmons, who is just like, Simmons and Schroeder are kind of poisoned to each other's minutes, but they're getting minutes, like both of them are getting more minutes than this. Like Schroeder's getting 34. Ben Simmons is getting 30, 26 next to each other. Like they're playing some, uh, anyway, I, I just can't, I don't understand what's going on with, with Brooklyn today. And with everybody's ownership, let, let's just look. Who are the highest owned plays right now, according to... I don't get the Lindy Waters thing. I'm covering it right now just because I, I assume we'll get better value and I can swap off of it later. Is, is he playing 25 minutes a game, Lindy Waters? No, 28, 23. It's just uncertain. I'm definitely not going there. I'll tell you what. I am half the field. I just don't feel it in my gut, number one. he. I love Lindy Waters as a player. If he gets the opportunity, he could smash my face. However, at 40%, get out of town. He's like a 15%, 20% guy. Not for me. I will not be there with you guys. Zach Levine, fine. Jabari, ugh, no, I'm fading. I, he's fine, but it's just like a pop-off game every 10 games, not like 24% on an eight-gamer. Is this eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight-gamer. 16 teams? What? I, I don't even understand it. I don't. I can't be there with you. Um, so I'm not there. I negatively leveraged almost all these guys. Just because I think you're getting way too crazy. Like a 25% Kobe White is too much. People just liking that game too much, I guess. But he's fine. You, you suddenly boost him. Like I'm, no, I don't have him boosted. I, I think your I think your background estimate is a little high for usage for Kobe White going forward uh, from Saberson. I have unclicked, fully unclicked Sam Hauser today. Don't understand what's going on. Why we would assume 24.33 minutes. Maybe. I mean, maybe not. He's not, he's he's one of those guys like um Portis, Nas, guys who get squeezed out because they are good bench guys. So they'll play a little bit in a blowout, but they're not playing at the end of the blowout. They got like Davison and they got garbage guys to come and play at the end of the blowout. So it's not going to be Hauser reigning three days. They've been as recently as like one and a half weeks ago have been limiting him. He's been missing games. So completely wrong for me, an 18% Hauser today. I think he's 10% max, but I'm taking a strong stand because I just don't, we got value. What, what's happening? Why do we have 18% Hauser? Is somebody, I guess, I mean, somebody must be touting Hauser. That's that's the only way you could possibly get there. I don't get it at all. We have a spam message. Well, yeah, as an old person, I'm so interested in that. Okay, my negatively leveraged plays. You know my positively leveraged. I've talked about all of these, I think. Yeah. Trace, I mean, same thing. Yeah. I, if he gets the minutes, that's great. But what's the odds he gets the minutes? I don't know. 15%, 20%? What did I say for um what did I say for the other guy from this team that I also don't trust? Where was it? Golden State. Lindy Waters, I said 20% maximum. So I'll say 20. Oh yeah, okay, 20%. We're there. 20% maximum for Trace, because I just don't trust the rotation. I don't trust Mr. Kerr. <laughs> I think it stopped being muted. Okay, now it stopped being muted. A little bit worried about how long the mute button had been activated there, but it looks like it's working now. Just confirm. Yeah, I think that not flashing means it's working. Okay. Don't want really any, any of these guys, but I'm playing them because you guys are playing them. So a uh, stronger stand would be to just cross them out, but I'm playing 191 lineups, so I can't completely cross them off. Same thing with like, ugh. What's going on here? Do I have to play these guys? No. The prices have caught up to these guys. Um, even Alfred Payton on New Orleans. I don't I don't see myself being a big fan of them. I guess Trey Murphy's still fine. No. I don't really want any of these guys. It's a gross game. What's Trey Murphy's minutes? Yeah, 33 is fine. It's fine. I'll cover half of your what you guys are on for that. Not not really my thing though. Portland Houston. I guess I feel like I, I'm more on that one than you guys are. Yeah, we got Houston, a lot of Houston interest on my end. Klingon, I'm more on than you guys. But yeah, okay. I think that's mostly it. All the fades. Have I have I covered the fades? Lindy Waters, Sam Hauser, Trey Young, Halliburton. How is how is it 
fading Lindy Waters to have 20% Lindy Waters. Outrageous. Jordan Miller got some time in the last game. You can play him if you want to. Not, not me. Don't know if he's going to play again. Bogdan, just don't know the minutes yet. Don't understand what's going to happen to that rotation. Kind of ruins an otherwise really fun game, having Bogdanovich back because you can't play some of those guys with as much confidence. But, yeah, that, that's, that's the whole take for now. I guess late news guys. What are the late news guys? Jokic is the main one. Is that the only one? Huh. We got a lot of that news. Well, still changes the slate either way. So best of luck. The crazy Jokic news, it, it won't matter that much. Either you play Jokic or you don't, uh, if he's in, and don't play any other Nugs, or you play a fair number of Nugs, but not that many because he's been out or he missed a game or whatever. Okay, so on to FanDuel. And on the FanDuel side, we're locking Claxton. Claxton's mispriced. Don't understand what's happened. I saw Josh had the idea that it was a Nick, a naming thing. They went from Nicholas to Nick. And they did, you know, they did a lot of things with like a purdle is no longer polatol with the umlaut because too many Americans react just so unfavorably to seeing an umlaut. So one umlaut and get him out of there, throw him out, throw him in the trash. So anyway, it's caused them a problem today. And I'm locking, um, I'm locking Nick Claxton. I think you might lock him in 150 max. If he gets 20, 25, 26 minutes, he's the optimal play at center. Uh, and value for the slate, probably. So, kind of got to kind of got to lock him all the way through twenty, definitely. Maybe through one fifty, I'd probably go ninety five percent, five percent injuries, five percent injured in the first few minutes, five percent injured before halftime. That sounds better. Okay, but that's what you need. You're, you're really grasping at straws, fading Claxton at all today in any lineup. Um, Tory Craig, similarly, Giannis. I mean. For me, Torrey Craig's minutes are being underprojected industry wide uh, with Patrick Williams out. They just rode him and they're just going to ride him and he's fine and he, he gets stocks. So I'm playing him more on FanDuel where your stocks go further, particularly for an almost min price guy. So Torrey Craig's my other really, really cheapy. And then, uh, yeah, Busele, for the same reasons as on DraftKings, I just think he's going to get a ton of minutes in this game. I don't understand. 0.11%. Yeah, Busele, I think he could go for 35, 40. I mean, get a ton of stocks. This guy's all over the place, doesn't care about his. His body, whatever. I don't know why, why I said that so positively. Uh, you see what I did here to this uh, on FanDuel, what I did to the team points. I just said, Chicago, Atlanta, a lot of points. That's what I did. I poured it on. I said, let's just make it a, to a stupid amount of points. I think it could it could be all-star game level points. It could be like a 150, 150, a 165, 160 or something today in that game. It's going to be an outrageous final score. So you need to reflect that if you're doing this kind of uh, game sim simulation. And as a result, I assume I'm getting an absolute ton of that game, right? Yeah. So on average getting, what is that? Uh, 116, 170, 214, 240. So about three guys from that game in every single lineup. Yeah, it's a great game, even on an eight-gamer. Uh, okay, Giannis, jam him, assuming that Jokic is out. And if Jokic is in, flip the coin. Okay, I think I've given all these takes before. That's kind of a lot of Brandon Boston. Don't really want that much, but whatever. What are you going to do? I'll play a little bit of, of Ben Simmons. Yeah, all these Brooklyn guys, I already talked about them. Don't understand it. Uh, ben Simmons is even better on FanDuel. Like, this guy could fall into freaking five steals or something stupid Dyson Daniels level. So, I don't... I, I think he could really do very well today and score two points. You know what I mean? Like Ben Simmons could score you 30 fantasy points on FanDuel with, with like literally zero regular points. You know, like he could go 10 assists and like five steals and a block and like, um, what I, I did assists some other way to get fantasy points. Okay, fine. He probably needs some points in there. He can make a few layups, right? Well, Ben, he's getting a lot of minutes now. I think he's getting his confidence back. He looks like he's getting a pretty confident guy. And it looks like he's in good physical shape, too. So, good Ben Simmons. Glad to see you back. But that does conclude pretty much all my takes for the slate. Who am I fading on FanDuel? Let me just make sure I've said it to myself. So, I do one time look at it. I don't have Io in the pool. I just don't get what's going on with the with Io today at 30% owned on FanDuel. I don't want it. I think you need more points. He just doesn't have the raw points you need on FanDuel today. Like So, for me on FanDuel today... It's yeah, I don't need Trey Murphy in this pool either. Like you need 35 plus. Um Tuesday is that today? No, it's next week. If 
Phoenix News. That's not for now. But you need basically, because of the Claxton mistake, you really can have to draw a line here. These guys here are just not in the pool today for me. You got to unclick uh, Lindy Waters, Kling and Scoot, TJD. All these guys who are like 20-point median guys are not allowable today on FanDuel. FanDuel, you have to keep it tight. Tight pool today. Very tight pool on FanDuel. No messing around. There is super, super value in Nick Claxton. You don't need any of these scrub values who have an under 30-point expectation at all. Calling Kuminga, Researche, Bogdan, um, Eve Messi, Denny, Kamara. These guys are all too cute, too cute for today. Too cute. Another day you can do it. Another day. Maybe you play Tory Crady. He's almost the men. But he's the reason. He's the reason why you can't play even like Al Horford. Minutes are up a little bit. Can't play him. Not possible on this slate. Sorry. Can't play any of these guys. Can't even consider him as a waste of your pool to have them in your pool at all. Up until Drew isn't getting enough minutes. Okamu isn't getting enough minutes. One of Simons or Sharp. Okay, so here's what I'll say. I'll say I think Sharp is going to... is This is too few. The usage is too low for Shaden Sharp. Anthony Simons, I expect to be out. I saw a downgrade to, to Jeremy Grant as well. So on, on FanDuel, I want to make sure I have that taken care of. Because with Grant and Simons, I think probably both out. They're going to punt this game. And if it's a punt, is there anything good? Maybe Scoot. Maybe Banton. Oh, 5,700. Gross. Ugh. Throw this team in the trash. Can't play any of these guys. I can't really play sh sharp. It, it, maybe if everybody's out, you play a little bit of sharp on FanDuel. It's just really tough to get there on that. Yeah, I get that now. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. So for now, I'll just say you're good enough. You're strong enough. And gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. Might as well be us. Bunch of nice slates out there. A good 50 cent, a uh, good uh, $8. Make sure you're getting that 50 cent right now. It looks like it's going to fill up by about 1 o'clock Pacific.